Well, you know why we're here. Today we are going to be talking about the massacre that took place last week that resulted in the loss of over 30 snakes. That did absolutely nothing wrong. Let's get into it. Before we get started on this, I do want to give my condolences to the two people that have been infected in this. Mr. McAdam, Mr. Coffee. I am truly sorry for what you guys are having to endure through right now. Uh, also, viewer discretion is going to be advised for the stuff we are going to be watching because it is, uh, it's very messed up what we are uh, about to talk about today. However, I don't think it's something we should shy away from simply for the fact that this is the reality of what's going on in Florida right now. It's not something we should just pull our eyes away from because it's too hard because for these two gentlemen right here, this is something they could not pull away from. Some, some right off the bat that would like super concern me and just a mass question I have right now. Uh, is this Boy Scout Jimmy's first day on the job? Like, did he just pick up this, I don't know, whatever this thing is? And he's like, all right, I'm here. How do I use this thing? And they're like, all right, this is what you got. Like, that is very concerning to me. Um, not only, could you imagine like this happening to you? And then all of a sudden you're also overhearing like, all right, how do I use this thing? Like, Jesus Christ, guys. I, I, I know, I know they don't have it together. I just didn't think they didn't have it together this bad. So I'll be honest with you, but I, I don't know what the, the precautions are for this. I can only imagine that these guys right here just have no idea what they're doing with holding captive animals and they believe like it's the same handling procedure for wild caught versus captive. Um, why are they manhandling it so hard? Like literally the dude is like puppy dog tame and this guy's like, oh my God, like just put the snake down then get the hold and do what you gotta do. The end result is gonna be the end result. Like, this shit's happening. But like, does the animal have to be in this amount of stress and just fucking frantically fearful till its very last second of life? Like, is that really how we have to do things here? Puppy dog tame. And the dude comes in grabbing it like this. Like, do you, do you not know how to handle an animal, actually? Were you just shown this one, like, grab maneuver and that's just, like, how you think you handle all reptiles? Like, come on, man. Come on. I always thought that shit was really weird. That one really, uh, this part really got to me because it's like, why are you taking a goddamn selfie with the animal, my guy? Like, I know you need picture evidence, whatever. I, 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 I don't know what the fuck I'm not. I don't understand why this is happening. I don't, I don't know the procedure behind all of this. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can just take a picture of, the, of it on the ground. Like, are you feeling like a big man right now? Because we all saw you embarrass yourself trying to hold this Burmese python. Like, come on. I don't think I am able to even fathom the mental anguish that this man must be going through right now for every one of those animals to be produced by him. There's, there's always one thing of owning a pet, like my Tegus are my babies, you know, my, my Argus Monter Bimson, he's my baby, right? Um, it's a completely another aspect to have produced it, to go through the entire life cycle and raise that animal from just something in an egg or something that just gave life birth day one and to raise it up through that. It's different. It's a different feeling than just owning a pet. And for every single one of those animals for that to be the case and to just, ugh, the, that noise, man, the tunk. I couldn't imagine, man. I could not imagine the he absolute hell this guy is going through right now. Yeah. 
one of the parts that really just uh, kind of enraged me and really just got me uh, really amped up. And I saw a couple of my friends actually on the US Arc post uh, kind of defending this aspect. I'll make this super clear. I do not give a single fuck about your feelings in this scenario. I don't care if you feel bad. You are fucking doing this, dude. You are the reason this shit is happening. Compliance makes you just as guilty and just as much of a monster for slaughtering all of these animals. Oh, I'm sorry. You feel bad because of it? Go fuck yourself, dude. Some of my friends being like, oh, we don't, we shouldn't be picking on these guys. We need to go after the big picture, not the boots on the ground, but the head force of the FWC, you know, the people that are making this laws. Nah, nope. Do not feel that way in the slightest. I want every single person in that facility wearing an FWC vest, putting all those animals down. I want them to not be able to sleep at night. I want them to toss and turn with the mental anguish that they caused these people today. I want these guys, if in the case that they're surprisingly not fired, which I can't see not happening. However, we've seen scenarios like this in the police force and they always get off. So I'm having a tough time imagining these guys are going to be fired. I hope they quit. I hope they, they, I hope this forces them to quit because mentally and emotionally, they just can't take it anymore. That's what I wish upon these guys. I don't care if they're just following orders. They are following these fucked up orders that cause not only the death of all these animals, but just the immense heartbreak of the owners for no, absolutely no reason whatsoever. These guys don't get a fucking pass. These guys don't get a pass because oh, they're just following orders and hey, they said they don't like it in the snake. I don't fucking care, dude. I want these guys laying awake every night in their hearts hurting, thinking like, man, I really fucked up and did the wrong thing because at the end of the day, my guy, you did. You didn't protect anything. No environment was protected because of this. You just slaughtered innocent pets. That's all you did. to mention on this. Number one, this dude's an absolute clown. Did you see like, the, you could just see the adrenaline pumping, his heart's racing, he's like <sighs> to a, like a seven foot boa constrictor dude. Like, calm the fuck down. Number two, that's a boa. That is absolutely and unapologetically a boa constrictor. There, I, there are only two scenarios that can be run through in how you mistake a python to a boa. Two completely different things. The only thing that they have in common is that they're snakes. That's it. Two things. These guys are either just absolute morons. I mean like the most just stupid people you can ever imagine. I mean, I know seven-year-olds that come up to my table that can tell me the difference between a python and a boa. So these guys' IQ are either just like as low as you can possibly get where they're just thinking snake's a snake, boop. Either that or they just don't care. They just don't care to look for five seconds. It's right there. It's right in front of you. How, how do you not realize it's a boa? Not to mention the fact the man warned you well, 10 times, 10 over and over and over again that it is a boa in this cage. It is marked. You can tell it's marked because did you notice dude in blue shirt when he saw it, he went, see how he tensed up because he realized he messed up? How? How? How do you do that? How are you so stupid? How are you such a moron that you 
Ignore the warnings. Ignore the notes. Take the animal out and look at it after already doing this to multiple, multiple animals and not come to the conclusion that this is not the right snake. How? I... I don't understand. I do not understand how someone could either be that ignorant or just that plain stupid to make a mistake like this. There it is. They, uh, they realized the mistake of their ways. They realized what a bunch of absolute dipshits they are. Gray shirt, blue shirt wasn't gonna say nothing. Blue shirt knew what was happening. He's like, well, we'll just keep it, keep it quiet. Like they're not gonna realize when you guys, I don't know. I think Blue Shirt's mentality was maybe we can sneak out of here and get out of here before he realizes. I'm, I am 100% confident if Gray Shirt did not spill the beans on what just happened, Blue Shirt would have walked out of here and just think, well, out of my hands. We just gotta hide for a little bit and it'll be all over. Gray Shirt, on the other hand, I guess he has somewhat of a conscience because he was like, uh oh, we did the wrong thing. However, that conscience was clearly out the door after about five seconds of going like, oh, oopsies, he went, oh well, it's dead, boop, 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 back to work. Um, Mr. Boy Scout, Boy Scout Jimmy right there, nothing. I don't know if they're just not, not a thought in that head, like a brick for brain, because he's sitting there like, Ooh. and then they have to tell him, they the physically, which kind of reiterates my course of this guy's just the stupidest man you can ever imagine, has no idea where that animals are. I, I think this man just sees snakes. And I'm pretty sure he might not even know the difference between a snake and a lizard. There's just not a thought going on in that man's head. He looks at him and just like, what's wrong? And he has to tell him. He physically, blue shirt has to be like, this is the wrong snake. And he goes, Ooh. huh. Like, holy shit, man. Is there just not, no empathy, no emotion, no intelligence, just nothing going on in that brick head? That man right there is just nothing. Jesus Christ. aware that if you currently own one of these reptiles you're allowed to keep it to its death so no one's telling you 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 have to go get rid of your your uh, your pet or euthanize it no one's going to from the state's going to take it away from you so i think there's some misinformation out there and i just want to clarify that for the for the people listening if you currently own one of these reptiles you're allowed to keep it <laughs> And then finally, the end of the video. Uh, we get to hear more ignorance on FWC part. Is there a way to save the babies? Does... If this is your job, like if this is, you, you would think these people would, I don't know, maybe brush up a little bit and understand the animals that they are destroying. Like maybe they would like figure it out a little bit more and kind of have just like some basic understanding of the animals, but nope. Nope, not good old FWC, not Florida. They just, is there a way? And then the comment, we're gonna make this right. The state, how? How? That's what I, is it money? Do they think they're just gonna give them some money and make it go away? Do they think this animal's just like a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars? Uh, number one, you can't put a value on a pet. You can't put a value on number one doing something illegal what these guys did this little oopsies moment and they're like we messed up it was a mistake it wasn't a mistake what you guys just did was commit a crime you committed a felony this isn't a whoopsies oops i, I goofed up this is a felony 
what you men just did. Number two, and this is just for like the logistic part. So you're just gonna pay for the snake? What about the babies in it? The quoted $100,000. I don't know what that number is. I don't know what the boa is. I don't know what the pairing is. You know, I can only see so much and understand so much uh, without too much context. What about the amount of babies that animal could have? What about the babies it could have year on year? Are you gonna pay this man the uh, tens to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars that he would have gotten simply financially? We're simply just taking emotion out of it and talking talking at a money standpoint. No, you're gonna cut a check for $5,000 and thinks it's all okay. You're gonna cut the, the Kelly Blue Book value of the animal and just say that is you doing that. The state is not gonna make this right in any way or capacity, financially, emotionally, or legally. They're just not gonna do it. So fuck you for saying that thing, because that's just dumb. The end of this wonderful video, which by the way, folks, I am going to have the US Arc Florida video pinned in the description down below. And we also have the lovely information for all these officers. We have the phone number for FWC. We have the phone number for personally every officer and the email for personally every officer there. Unfortunately, I don't know which is which. I don't know who Gray Shirt, Blue Shirt, or Old Boy Scout Jimmy is. However, I decided to email all of them and clump them as like the Three Stooges type scenarios. They're all morons to me. They all get the equal treatment in the emails from me. The crazy thing is, I, at the end of this video, they talk about, um, they uh, pull some clips of the spokesperson, the commissioner, and his uh, words. Basically, I'll summarize it a little bit, basically saying that uh, we're not going to come in and kill your animals. That was a lie. Uh, these animals are going to be able to grandfather in. We're not coming after your pets, blah, blah, blah. I remember actually being there. So I was there for the tag ban, not physically because this was COVID. I was in a Zoom call. I was literally sitting uh, by the phone watching this thing go on for hours upon hours. I literally did nothing that day but just focus on this meeting because I did not want this Tegu ban to go through. I know a lot of my friends back then that were Tegu Breeze were in Florida. I wanted to look out for them. I did what I thought I could, the most I could possibly do and try to get this thing reversed. Didn't happen. It was a fucked up court. That's another story. There's another video on that when it happened. But I remember the words that the commissioner was saying. I remember those words of him saying this stuff. I like, we're not going after your pets. And I think that's just what makes me more angry. The fact that back then, that whole thing, it was unanimous. There was no, they didn't listen to us. We all had like 20 seconds to speak. They did not give a shit what we had to say. Number two, it's all just blatant bullshit, man. Everything the commissioner is saying, because this is just, it's physical proof. What this man has right now is physical proof that FWC is absolutely lying. Boys and girls, the absolute travesty that took place on Thursday. I don't know how anyone can be this stupid to do this, but hey man, FWC just surprises us every goddamn day. Having to watch this video over and over and making this video, I'm emotionally drained. I've been so angry the past two days just seeing this and um, I don't know, man. Again, my heart goes out to these two gentlemen. I cannot imagine the pain you must be going. I can imagine the pain of going back to that to that blood-soaked room and having to clean that up and having the last of your animals gone. <sighs> hey man, let's not let this awful event go quietly. Let's not let FWC sweep this bad boy under the rug and call it a day, right? Like I said, I got all the emails, all the nice good old phone numbers under there. We've been making a lot of noise. I actually just recently saw FWC is actually shutting down some of their emails because we have been m m messing with them so much. Just giving them a taste and uh, letting them know how we feel as reptile keepers for them to be committing felonies and killing our pets, which uh, I think a lot more people should be angry about, man. I think anyone should be angry. Anyone that owns a dog, cat, whatever, should be just absolutely outraged by this. So um, yeah, I hope this little video spreads some more awareness. I know a couple of my fellow YouTubers, I saw a nerd definitely beat me to this, doing it the night that it really blew up. So um, hope this video at least gets a couple new eyes on this. I hope a couple more people send some emails and I hope a couple people and a lot of people send emails every single day until FWC finally releases statements and fires these officers for the absolute bullshit that they've caused. Thank you guys so much. That is it. Goodbye.